So what happens when you stop taking Ozempic? Do you gain some of the weight back? Do you gain all of it back? Or do you not gain anything at all? Hi folks, my name is Kwekwe, I'm a pharmacist, and in today's video, that's exactly what I'm gonna address. Now, this video has been prompted by one of my viewers who made a, who asked the question in the comment section, Royal Peace. So Royal Peace, shout out to you for bringing this question up. I wanted to just go ahead, straight ahead, and answer the question in the comment section, but I wanted to do a video where I could back it with detailed facts. So we're gonna be reviewing two studies that were actually conducted into this particular issue and see what happens actually when one stops taking Ozem. Now the first study is one they call the step one trial and this study involved 961 participants who were not diabetic but had a body mass index of greater than 30. Some had a body mass index of greater than 27 but these people were had other weight related comorbidities. In other words, they had another condition that was either caused by or aggravated by their weight. Now the study participants were divided into groups. They were randomized and one group got 68 straight weeks of 2.4 milligrams of semaglutide while another group got a placebo. Now, at the end of the 68 weeks, they discontinued the group that was receiving the semaglutide. They totally discontinued giving them any semaglutide and the placebo also was discontinued and then they observed them. Now for the first 68 weeks, that is from week zero to week 68, there was an average body weight loss of about 17.3% in the participants or the study group that were taking the semaglutide. On the other hand, the people receiving the placebo had only about 2% body weight loss. Now here comes the interesting part. So when they discontinued giving the semaglutide group the semaglutide, they observed them from week 68 to week 120. And what they observed was that the people in that group gained back an average of 11.6% of their body weight back, while the placebo group only gained 1.9% of their body weight back. So if you do the math, the net weight loss for the semaglutide group, if you subtract 116 from 17.3%, is about 5.6 overall average body weight over the 120 week period. So you notice from here that when they discontinued the semaglutide, the people actually, for the most part, gained the weight back, though there was not a complete reversal some people still maintain that weight loss. Now the second study which they call step four was also a randomized double blind study which is the gold standard in medical study. It involved 901 participants who were given weekly injections of semaglutide and they titrated their dose up to 2.4 milligram maintenance dose for the first 20 weeks. After the 20 weeks when all the participants had been stabilized at 2.4 milligram semaglutide maintenance dose, they divided them into groups and they discontinued giving semaglutide to one group. In other words, they just gave them placebos while one group continued with the semaglutide. And these are the results that they found out. For the first 20 weeks where each group or everybody was receiving semaglutide, the average weight loss was about 10.6% of their body weight. Now at week 20, when they, divide, they further divided them into groups and they discontinued giving semaglutide to one of the groups, what they noticed was that the people who continued receiving semaglutide after the week 20 lost a further 7.9% of their body weight, while the people for whom the semaglutide was discontinued actually gain back 6.9% of their body weight. So you notice a swing between the two groups of 14.8% of their body weight. So this is just another study to highlight the fact that once you discontinue semaglutide, chances are that you're gonna gain the weight back. So to keep that weight off, the biggest thing is to make lifestyle changes, which is dietary changes and changes in your physical activity. I sincerely hope this answered your question about what happens when you quit taking Ozempic. If anybody has any personal experience and wants to share, please feel free to share it in the comment section. Let us all learn from your experience. Thank you so much. Stay blessed. Catch you on the next video.